Today I want to uh, give you guys an update on the experiment that I started 10 days ago. Um, trying to root some cuttings in water and um, in soil and using rooting powders. Um, so let's get right to it. So on 321st, I started this experiment. Basically, um, I have two cup uh, using soil and cutting these uh, basil cuttings, uh, Thai basil that I um, I got from supermarket. So on, on this this one here, I have water without rooting powder. This side I have water with rooting powder. Okay, um, and the rooting powder I'm, I use uh, for this cup is uh, this one take root root growing hormone. Um, so for these two cup uh, rooting in water, um, I have three stems each, and each one I, I prep it a little bit differently. Um, so on this one, I have one stem with uh, just you know a straight cutting from a stem. Um, one of them I score on the four side of the stem, and the other one I cut uh, through uh, to make it a four piece. Let me show what I mean. Uh, Let's see, this one is just a straight, straight cut uh, from the stem, uh, and you can see there's the roots. Uh, the longest one is about an inch and a quarter. It's uh, a visible roots coming out of this one. Um, that's just water and uh, a straight cut. Okay. This one is a uh, cut through. Um, you can see there are roots forming on each of the cut through, and there are a little bit more roots, more than ten um, roots on this one. Longest one is about an inch, an inch or so. This last one here uh, is uh, the one that I score on four side of the cutting. Um, you can see here the uh, area where I score the stem. A lot more roots are coming out. So there's like uh, more than 10 roots coming out of just that one score. The other side also a lot more. So this one you can see it's um, got a lot more root than the other two. Um, but they all produce root within 10 days. Now let's go to the one with uh, rooting powder. So this uh, on this one, I put about uh, one teaspoon of of uh, rooting powder. And the way I prep the stems are the same, but the result is uh, dramatically different. Let me show you the one with just a regular rooting. A regular cut without any um, modification to the stem. Uh, you can see here there are a lot of roots on this cutting um, and they all toward the bottom of the brand and the stem. There's some from top as well. They're not as long but they are very thick. Uh, they're like spikes. They're very thick and they are about uh, half an inch each, but there are a lot of them. So rooting definitely happens uh, here. Okay. Uh, and this one is uh, the one that I did a four cut through. You can see there are roots that are forming, roots that are forming on each of the cutting. And the roots are very thick. Actually, it's actually quite heavy. Um, the longest one, the longest root is about inch and a quarter. And there are a lot of them. That is more than an inch and a quarter. So this is a lot of roots. These two got the longest roots, um, and these two ones, uh, they have roots, but they are. Um, Growing as well on, on this side, you can see the little bumps here. So this one, a lot of roots. OK. 
Okay. On this one, I score four side on the stem. You can see the area where the score happened. Roots grow out on both sides of the scoring. Um, there's no left and a right on the on the scoring side, and they are all over. Um, the roots are about an inch each. They are very big and sturdy, uh, and it even split all the way up here. That has even more roots. They're very uniform in in length, um, but it's it's very strong. So here's a direct comparison. Just cutting without um, rooting powder. There's some roots. There's so cutting into four. They're a little bit longer, um, a little bit more roots. This one is scoring on the side. It's cutting in rooting powder with no scoring. Cutting with rooting powder with uh, cut it into four. And this is uh, scoring without um, cutting through. As you can see, there's a, a lot, uh, lot more root on these two. So this is uh, soil with building powder. Uh, I'm going to unpack this to see how much root is inside of <coughs> this cutting here. Wash this off so we can see. As you can see, the roots here are very long. Uh, it's, there's about ten visible roots, and the longest one is about almost uh, almost two inch. Um, so I with our root and powder. Watch this. There's no root, but it's forming. You can see the small buds of root that's about to come out from the bottom. But so right now it's uh, ten days from when the experiment started. So root, uh, rooting powder definitely help with producing root. This is a quick shot here. Um, you can see these two that root in water with rooting powder. They produce so much root that they can actually stand on their own in these cups of roots. See right here. Yeah. Voila. Today is the 14th day from the experiment and I want to give an update on the um, rooting transplant that I put into these cups. So these trees here are from the um, water without rooting powder. Uh, you can see there's not a lot of roots here. There's a little bit here, here, and right here. Whereas these uh, that I use uh, rooting powder uh, these are bigger cups, and you can see the roots are um, all the way around. Um, so they are very strong and producing lots of roots. So I hope you like the result of my experiment. If you enjoyed the video, please uh, hit the like button below. Um, if you have any comments or feedback on the experiment or the video itself, um, please let me know. Until next time, uh, happy gardening and I'll see you soon.